as it's time to have a crack at the greatest game of all. And when we're talking the big ones, we are talking league. We are talking rugby league. Planeteers, can you get interested when the ball is spread wide? Can you holler with delight when the bust is made? Can you go ballistic with joy when the ball is plonked over the line? And keep those cheers going as you welcome Martin the Fire! <laughs> Uh, thanks for coming into the program and uh, look we should have a look at you in action let's go back to 1992 against Bradford I think you had a day out this day you get one close in here here you are dummy half you see a gap the, pill uh, the defense pillows through you go then you decide well that was pretty good and now you stack on another one here it's almost a length of the field try you pick it up in your own half then you well there's no one up there it's just a race between you and yourself to see whether you're going to exhaust yourself between here and the try line you go in and there you're improving the position all the time you come around and you put it under the black dot an easy conversion for the kicker. And finally, I think the last try, we move on to 1994. Here's an absolute try of the century against Leeds. They fall off you. They don't know what to do. They've got backs trying to chase you down there. And once again, who's going to win first? Your fitness or the line? Well, it's a near run thing. You decide you're going to give it a last mill and come style and over you go for another try there. Wonderful work. When you're not playing uh, rugby league, you love uh, driving around in a motor car. What, what car, what wheels have you got at the moment? Uh, for, uh, Mercedes SL. And what do you, I know you love to change because you get bored with cars so yeah. often. What are you going to change up to? What, what, have you got your eye on something? Did what? you go to the Birmingham Motor Show recently? Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to go because I was pretty busy, but I'd like to get a Ferrari, but uh, you know. A Ferrari. I can't justify at the moment. And what are the steps between, say, your Mercedes and the Ferrari? Are you going to go something in between well, or are you just going to save up? I'm looking at a red Corsa at the moment, so it's yeah, sure. over. Look, have you tried, uh, have you tried a Holden V8 ute? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I believe I put it to you that no one gets tired of a Holden V8 ute. To tire of a Holden Holden V8 Ute, Martin, is to tire of life. I, I, don't really, I don't really need a boot that big, though, do I really? Well, you've got plenty of things to put in it. There's obviously a couple of footies going in there, a pair of shoes, <laughs> maybe a bag, and think of all the other stuff you can carry I around. You could fit in. a whole team in that, couldn't you? Well, you could get a, uh, a boot box in there and scare <laughs> the neighbourhood as you roar in. But a V8 Ute, an yeah. import one. Do you reckon? What about, import the, tax? What about one. the import duty? Turn heads. Who's this coming down the street? <laughs> it's Martin of Fire, and what's he driving? Blow me down, it's a Holden V8 Ute. <laughs> Tremendous prestige. I'll have to pick one up, though. Right. Yeah, Martin, uh, w when I was playing the rugby league yeah. uh, in the second row... Oh, uh, who, did, who did you play for? Uh, for the Lithgow Shamrocks. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I used to love it when you had the opportunity of tackling a winger. Bloody, we hated bloody wingers. <laughs> uh, we used to try and punch their heads in. Have you found oh. that uh, you're spotted because you're quick? Uh, you're hard to get. Once a player gets you, he wants to do a bit of damage. Uh, I've been caught a few times, as uh, my yeah. facial scars probably prove, but uh, you know, more than not, I get away. You get away? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, do you find, because of your prominence, that you are spotted? That uh, people give you, or players want to give you that little bit extra once they get you? Oh, yeah, you know, that's happened uh, quite a few times in Australia. When I've been put out there, they, uh, right, out they there. like a bit of pomp bashing. Yes, <laughs> yes. Now, why uh, did you uh, pick the rugby league and then the rugby union? Uh, why, why? You're such a fast bloody bloke. Why, well, why weren't you just uh, happy to uh, settle into a life of sprinting? I, I always found sprinting a bit too boring at school. Yep. and uh, uh, My school didn't play football, so there's only rugby union to play, but... Uh, Never used to get paid for that up until about two years ago, so I thought, yeah. you know, give the old league a crack. Yes. And how quick were you at your fastest over, say, uh, 100 metres? I was quicker than most of the dogs in my street anyway, so... Yes, uh, yes. That's, that's pretty quick, I could say. Yes. <laughs> but, is that uh, useful? Oh, it is when you grew up in Hackney, yeah, there's a lot, yes. of, a lot of dogs out that way. <laughs> 
it would have ended around the 10 second mark, wouldn't it? Uh, well, I've run about 10 7 for you know 100 metres. That's nothing sort of exceptionally fast, but uh, you know, for a rugby player, I suppose it's quite quick. Listen, Australian players come over here a lot, as you, of course, have been to Australia to play. You know, do you have uh, special special nights to settle the Australian players in. I, I know the Broncos have lost, I, I think they've mm. lost Spuddy Carroll, who's uh, gone home, home a bit homesick, yeah. uh, because he just couldn't stand the, the pace of English life. Uh, are you doing things like having Sunday afternoon barbecues? <laughs> are you importing, you know, videos that they would be familiar with, Australian films? Uh, are you getting beers in for them? Are you making an effort to get these blokes who have, after all, <laughs> sacrificed wonderful lives in Australia to come over here and improve the standard of league? Sure, there has been. Sure, they're jokes. Sure, they can't get a game <laughs> Australia, but be that as a mate, they've made a bit of an effort. They've put in, Martin. Are you putting in to make them feel comfortable here in England? The sport will never improve unless you can get these people from Australia to come over here and give it a go. It's, it's a bit like living in Australia, playing down at the Broncos. Anyway, there's only about three English players in the side, yes. but uh, a spot in particular, you know, Mark Carroll, when he came over, uh, he wasn't too happy about, you know, all the high life in Australia, then coming over here yeah. and being a bit of a Neville, so yeah. that didn't really, uh, <laughs> didn't really suit sort of stuff. Well, if he well. had a V8 ute, everyone would have noticed it. <laughs> Look, what are we going to do about rugby league? It's, it's just about dead in Australia. Rupert Murdoch killed it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and here, I, I, look, I, I go to the major papers yeah. for my rugby league news. Uh, I, I want to have rugby league news every day. Yeah. I can't find it. There is no rugby league news anymore. I, I wander We're around with them. I go, well, tiny little <laughs> bloody column, but I want to see big no, think no. pieces on what's happening with rugby league. And wherever I go, I've had a clinic here in Norwich, a rugby league clinic. <laughs> Only about five kids turned up. <laughs> you know, rugby union's okay, but yeah. league is in trouble, Martin. What can we do about it? Is there a Martin Afire strategy for the rescuing, the resuscitation to <laughs> into the balloon of rugby league to get it up? Sunny as it was all those years ago, dominating, dominating world sport. Now that's a very big question. That's a very big question. Well, what can we do? Well, I think uh, to start, I mean, Sky has done a big, you know, done a lot for rugby league, but uh, I think it does need a lot more terrestrial coverage. I know the Challenge Cup has, you know, two games a weekend between about March and uh, and April or May. But I think it needs a lot more. I think it needs a magazine type program on the terrestrial television, yes. as I say, because uh, Sky. Not a lot of people have got Sky. Right. Well, couldn't Channel 5, for example, have a Rugby League week? A whole week of 24 hours a day, Rugby League, <laughs> to get the message out. I know, you see, but in where you guys come from, Australia, as, as, as I know, you know, League is the number one sport. Not you know, anymore. It well, wasn't until Rupert well, Murdoch got involved. It's, it's, now it's, it's Rugby <laughs> what? I was in Sydney last year, and in Brisbane and, and uh, um, Sydney, you know, it's still, Queensland, New South Wales, it's still number one game. You've got little kids, they grow up, they want to be Alfie Langer, they want to be Laurie Daly. Yes, Over here, yes. they want to be David Beckham and Ryan Giggs, you know, it's a tension. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Giggs, you know, the one who's married to yes, the, right. Right. the David Beckham sorry. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 that's true. So there aren't enough role models, but you're a role model, Martin. Am I? Surely I there that. are kiddies no. around here who want to be just like Martin Afar. Jerkin, I don't know. Look, I've I, met them I, anyway. Look, I'd say, Martin, you will be when you get the V8 ute. Jerkin. Uh, <laughs> that's a rugby league car. And if you wrote on the side, you know, Martin okay. Afire, Rugby League, V8 Utes. How about it? It's a great... Golden. It's golden, that's right. It's a trifecta of success. Uh, look, I, I think the Rugby League uh, week on Channel 5 is yeah. a tremendous idea. Yeah, I, so. the, I think the only improvement would be a couple of nude matches. Yes. Uh, I don't know whether, uh, you know, uh, so the London Broncos right. could offer to play a month in the nude. Yes. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, in Australia last year, we used to play this game called Kick Tennis, and it was yes. quite hot up in Yapoon, as, yes. as, as you well know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we had a game nude kick tennis in this yeah. deserted, um, uh, deserted pitch, so that, yeah. was quite, that was quite fun, but I don't know if... Uh, was there any television coverage at all? No, there was not television coverage, but uh, there was a few cameras popped yeah. out. Uh, Look, critics of yours say over the years that you don't like tackling. <laughs> is, is that the case? Uh, I mean, I saw you as a young kitty, yeah. and you weren't tackling so much with your shoulders, with your hands and arms. Well, that's a real mistake. You've got to get your bloody shoulder involved. Know, yeah. in but, you know, like anything in life, you know, we all take criticism, and if you score a lot of tries, you know, yes. like I do, then yes. you're going to take criticism for other things. Yes. You know, some wingers who do a lot of tackling don't score a lot of tries, you that's know, true. get criticised for that. So, you know, so, got pretty broad shoulders, I can yeah. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, you, uh, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... You don't seem to like golf very much. Is that right? I never used. I've actually taken it up quite recently. Have you? <laughs> right. well, I used to hate it. You know, yeah. I thought it was so boring. People used to watch yeah. it on TV, and like nearly all football and rugby players yeah. play it. So I felt left out. So I got. Uh, who's your role model with this? Colin Montgomery? Would he be a role model? He's such a fit bloke, isn't he? I know. <laughs> <laughs>
No, not really, no. Have I've you got... ever seen a fit golfer in your life? Look uh, at Woozers, Woosner. Uh, no, he's but... the most unfit bloke I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Tiger Woods looks pretty fit, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, but he's a bit slim-hipped. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's hard to take him seriously. He's only young. I notice one of your hobbies is going to Chuff Chuff Nights. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think they're theme nights. Yeah. What, what sort of themes do you like? Do you like a pirate night, a limbo night, oh, a Hawaiian no. night? <laughs> I think I've had a Hawaiian night. Yes. Yeah, yes. I didn't dress up in a grass skirt. Though. No. Well, would you go, uh, how about a rugby league theme night? And which player would you like to go as, apart from yourself? Like what would I go as? Oh, I don't know. Mal Meninga? Maybe Mal Meninga, I don't know. Maybe Laurie Daly. He's Laurie the best player in the world, isn't he? Yes. What is a Chuff Chuff night? Uh... What is a Chuff Chuff night? It's just a name given to a night, uh, you know, like a, a club night. They have them in, uh, you know, yes. the, in the middle of the country in big mansions, you know, in country hotels and just big parties. Right? Uh, all right, so it's you basically... You enjoy yourself sometime. Come on, I'm sure you guys... Oh, no, we do. Well, it's right. a sort of yeah. drink, drugs, rock and roll, have a route later. Well, you know, Sort of. <laughs> Sort of night. Is that the night? Is that what you, is that what you do? No, well, that's what we consider oh, a bit of a yeah, night. Yeah. We don't call it chuff chuff night. We just call it a bloody... It? Well, just an average night. A <laughs> night down the pub. Just yeah. a night out. Martin, we could lock horns about uh, chuff chuff nights and probably will over a couple of free beers in the King Wally Lewis bar of the Pogo <laughs> Lounge uh, once the ref blows time. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, can you leave it alone? Can you get them out and can you bang them as a way of thinking, Martin, the fire! Yeah.